Hey everyone, welcome to the industry show. I'm your host, Nitin Bajaj, and joining me today is Datta Dave of Tulsiya. Datta, welcome on the show. Thank you, Nitin. It's uh, good to be here. Thank you for uh, inviting me to be here. So, in a minute, tell us who's Datta. Datta is uh, a, uh, a guy from Southern California who, um, you know, like, like so many others probably watching or, you know, by their first generation Indian American. Um, I, I think I'm a little bit maybe strange in the sense that my parents moved from India to America and I've moved from America back to India. Uh, but I think, you know, like, like many uh, probably watching a very similar background of having been raised and brought up with, uh, you know, traditional Indian parents in, in Southern California and, and have, uh, you know, found my way back to India, which has just been an incredible experience. Tell us a little more about what you do for a living. And so I, I grew up, uh, you know, uh, doing theater while at the same time in college studying economics and accounting. Uh, went, in, went into management consulting, which eventually led me to be an expat in India. Mm -hmm. uh, while I was out there uh, being in, in Bombay, which is, you know, Bollywood and, and, you know, so many sort of folks in media and entertainment out there, I met a uh, filmmaker named Shaker Kapoor. Mm -hmm. And while working with Shaker Kapoor, who's this brilliant filmmaker, mm -hmm. um, it made me realize that, wow, we have such great writing and directing talent out there. And, and I wondered if there could be a way to formally work with some of these content creators. Mm -hmm. That led to us starting Tulsi about 10, 10, 11 years ago. And Tulsi is essentially a, uh, if you're familiar with management companies and agencies in, in the West, it's very similar to that. We started with the notion that we wanted to be strong advocates on behalf of creators um, and also help them think about their careers as well. Um, and that's also now evolved into representing not just writers and directors, but representing producers and actors and composers. Um, but also because the, uh, the sector out there is not as structured mm -hmm. as it is, say, in the West, uh, we also find ourselves uh, working in an advisory capacity mm -hmm. to some of the production companies and studios and platforms as well. So in terms of the specifics of sure. you know, what you're addressing in, in, in that space. Yep, sure. So uh, for, for that, Nathan, what we're, we're really doing is we want to um, be very specific about the types of talent we represent. We want them to be uh, extremely high quality. Uh, if, if you've watched shows like Sacred Games, we mm -hmm. put together the writer's room for that. A uh, show like Bata Lok on Amazon mm -hmm. Prime, we put that show together. Another show like Lila. Um, this past weekend, a show came out, came out, which has not been released outside of India yet, called The Gone Game a thriller set in, in the times of pandemic. Um, and so at Uri, which was a big, big motion picture hit, um, Lipstick Under My Burqa. Um, so we represent the talent or content associated with projects like these. Um, and in, in many instances, we're actually putting together these uh, projects as well. Um, so for us, it's about, um, you know, if there's, if there's high quality content coming out of India, um, more often than not, we find, and, 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 and we're very lucky uh, that, that our talents associated with, with those projects. And I think that's because from, from the onset, we've been um, very specific and, and, and very good about curating the types of uh, talent and, and content that we're representing in the market. But also, how do you define success? You know, we, we are in such an interesting time where um, storytelling isn't always just about entertaining, but it can also inspire, it can also educate. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, in, in a country like India, which is so diverse and has such tremendous opportunity um, to be able to work with talent that want, you know, at, at the end of the day, I'm an Indian American, like as much as I have lived in India for more than a decade now, I am not a full Indian, right? And, and so, but, but my talent, the the talent we work with, they are, and they have such dynamic, unique, strong perspectives about the country they've grown up in and where it's headed. And to be able to enable that is, is certainly um, success to me. Tell me one thing that uh, you've learned since you became an entrepreneur, something that you learned about yourself that you either previously didn't know or you were surprised with. I think starting a business in particular in India and then in media and entertainment, um, a lot of resistance, right? And, and, and because of that, it, it took a lot of patience. And I, I really didn't know I was this patient. Uh, but I also learned that um, I um, am, have a lot of tenacity <laughs> and a lot of willingness to 
stick it through mm -hmm. and um, not be um, phased by the word no. Yeah. Um, so I think I've learned a lot about um, resilience and the ups and downs. I think mm -hmm. that, um, you know, when you go off the sort of that traditional path of, you know, management and consulting and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, grad school and those things, and then you start a business and you realize, wow, this isn't as easy as I thought it was. Yeah. And you don't have money and you run out of money. Um, you know, those are the times when you're like, wait a minute, did I, you know, wow, did I just give up something that was just so quote unquote easy then, right? Everything else feels easy then. And, you know, as you've navigated what has been an exciting journey for you, have you used a coach or a mentor along the process? Yeah, ab absolutely. Um, innumerable, right? I mean, so many, so many of them, whether it was Shaker Kapoor, um, you know, I, I didn't know anything about media and entertainment before, before I started working with him because I'd never done a consulting engagement in media and entertainment. Right. Um, so I didn't know that much about the business side. Then, um, you know, I met a, a great guy, Barry Osborne, who's uh, the producer of Lord of the Rings. Um, you know, very early on, he was, um, you know, extremely, extremely helpful. Um, Manmohan Shetty, yep. um, you know, also just a gem of a guy and, and super helpful. Uh, you know, even when we bring on colleagues that are younger mm -hmm. and who are uh, have a much better understanding of Snapchat and TikTok okay. and all these things, I mean, they they be I, I didn't know how <laughs> I didn't know how to put up an Instagram story, right? And I wanted to put up an Instagram story about some of our clients' projects, and and you know, and, and so they're they're coaching me uh, along the process for that. So I think that um, I think that you know, at, at different stages of our lives and careers. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's smart to have mentors that are perhaps uh, younger than us because they're just more clued in.